Hello everybody, this is Roll of Winter Bros, and in this video demonstration, we're going to show you how to flip textures on objects within DAS Studio. This was done with DAS Studio 4.12, and we're going to show you a couple different uh, ways to do it. You can flip them vertically or horizontally, so let's get into that. You can see here we're using DAS Studio 4.12. So, normally when you're flipping textures in a scene or something, it's going to probably be on a plane or something, uh, some kind of a panoramic background that's on a plane or even a curved plane. So what we're going to do to start out, we're just going to go ahead and create a quick plane, and we'll apply one of our texture, own textures we created for this demo, just to uh, show you uh, how it works. So we'll go down here to Surfaces really quick. We should be able to find that still. Let me go back up here to uh, the Diffuse. Oh, sorry, passed it up there. Hang on a minute. Oh, the base color. So let's see. Uh, let me go ahead and browse. And here we created this nice little uh, uh, four set of arrows. And there you can see we got it on that plane. Let's rotate it around. So really the technique is quite simple. Uh, you just select the plane, or excuse me, the object in the scene tab. Of course, it's got its applied surface. And what you're going to do is go to the parameters for that object. And to flip it um, horizontally, you're just going to reverse the uh, the scaling on the X. So it would go from 100% to a minus 100%. And you'll see it flip the arrows. And then, of course, let's undo that real quick. We'll show you the vertical. And for the vertical, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to reverse the scaling on the Y. So it's 100 now. So we're going to make it minus 100. And you can see that it flipped there. So what happens is, too, uh, when we created this uh, this plane, I don't know if you caught it. We'll go ahead and go back real quick to the primitives. Uh, we, we created it with this primary axis on the Z negative. And if you have one that's created on one of the other planes, uh, you'd have to adjust the actual scales for what the texture view is you're looking at. So, uh, but for a normal plane created like this, uh, like, let me go ahead and cancel this. Uh, so like here's the front. We're looking at the front, and we can see the plane. Of course, the X goes left to right, and the Y up and down. So that's how those, uh, that's the scaling we use for the flip. So if you're oriented on another axis, you would just use the, the proper, uh, whichever uh, direction on the, whichever axis scaling for the flip on that. Of course, that's a plane. So uh, let, we'll go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and take this out of the scene here. We'll show you how to do it on a box. We'll go ahead and create us a new primitive. And this time we'll use, well, that's a cube. Uh, so there we go. And you can see here we kept the primary axis of the Z. So let's get our focus on the box. So we're going to go back into surfaces. And we'll go ahead and apply that base color again. That uh, Since we already used it, there it is. Now, we uh, on this one here, we're going to have to do some uh, some different changes to make it fit the box. Uh, the scale, the, um, the surfaces, uh, tab, sorry. We'll go all the way to the bottom. We're going to do some horizontal tiling, some vertical tiling, and you're going to find, uh, let me go ahead and put these in here, and we need from, I think we used three for this one, and two for the vertical work. Yeah, there it goes. And we might have to make a little bit of a, you can see the arrows are off just a little bit. We can kind of straighten them up there. So you can do the same technique uh, on non-plane shapes. The, you just might have to make some adjustments, and we'll show you that here real quick. So we'll go back up here. We'll go to the X scale, and we'll just go ahead and flip it on the X. And it looked like it came out fairly decent. So let's try the uh, the Y. And that one was pretty good too. So you didn't have to make no adjustments. But if you ever do it on an odd shape that's not necessarily symmetrical, like the same width and height like this was, you just might have to go uh, into surfaces and make some adjustments with the horizontal and vertical you know, offsets. Uh, and of course, uh, the we had to make some adjustments on the tiling for this, but a lot of objects already have, might have a plane applied to them, so uh, you wouldn't have to do that. So we hope you enjoyed this video presentation. Uh, we have a new uh, electronic magazine that we're publishing called uh, Studio Spotlight Design. So this technique is featured in that, along with a lot of other items. Just please read the description below, and if you're interested, you can click on our link to our Patreon page and give us some of your monthly support. Have a great day and enjoy.